This is a 10 question quiz. For each of the questions, you're going to see three sentences. All you have to do is choose the correct sentence. So this is going to test your knowledge to see whether you know a couple of different idioms and how well you know your grammar. And this is aimed generally at intermediate level students. Let's start with the first one. The board members have previously admitted to the shortfall. The board members have admitted previously to the shortfall. Or C, the board members have admitted to the shortfall. And the answer is C. The board members have admitted to the shortfall. So we can't say A or B because we're talking about the present perfect. Therefore, you can't use the adverb previously because that relates to the past. Number two. I wonder if he'll rise up and go against a grain. I wonder if he'll rise up and go against grains. Or C, I wonder if he'll rise up and go against the grain. And the answer is C, go against the grain. Against the grain is an idiom and it means that you're doing something that's different to everybody else. You're doing something that other people probably won't agree with. Number three. It seems to me that they must be getting instructions not to say too much. It seems to me that they must be being instructed not to say too much. Or C. It seems to me that they should be being instructed not to say too much. If you said A, you are correct. They must be getting instructions. We can't say B or C because we can't use a modal verb before the word being. Number four. Mary will stop texting for now. Mary will be stopping texting for now. Or Mary is going to be stopping texting for now. And the answer is A. Mary will stop texting for now. And we can't say B or C because there is no future use of will in the continuous tense aspect. Number five. We are coming back from bushwalk because there are too many mosquitoes. We are coming back from the bushwalking because there are too many mosquitoes. Or we are coming back from the bushwalk because there are too many mosquitoes. If you said C, you are correct. So when we say too many mosquitoes, we're talking volume. Therefore, it has to be T double O and not T O. We also wouldn't use an article in B. We're coming back from the bush walking. No, from the bush walk, yes, but not from the bush walking. Six. This village houses people of many cultures. This village houses people of many cultures. Or this village houses people of many cultures. If you said B, you are correct. So 
we need to use the preposition of, which is part of the bigger whole, not off, O double F, this is not the correct preposition, and C is incorrect because we don't use punctuation. We don't use an apostrophe to say the village houses people. Houses in all three examples is a verb. Number seven. The fish are come in small waves and moving incredibly fast. The fish are coming in small waves and moving incredibly fast. Or C, the fish are appear in small waves and moving incredibly fast. And the answer is B, the fish are coming in small waves. This is the present continuous tense aspect. So we wouldn't say A, the fish are come, because we wouldn't have two verbs together like this, and the same with C. Number eight. Barbara told that she has found a new job. Barbara said that she has found the new job. Or C, Barbara said that she found a new job. And the answer is C, Barbara said that she found a new job. We wouldn't say Barbara told because told is a verb that must take an indirect object. And B is incorrect because you wouldn't say she has found the new job. No article needed. Number nine. These t-shirts are a dime for a dozen. These t-shirts are for a dime for the dozen. Or C, these t-shirts are a dime a dozen. If you said C, you are correct. A dime a dozen. And once again, this is another idiom that means that they're very common and can be found everywhere. Lastly, number 10. He needs to talk to the point. He needs to get to the point. Or he needs to get towards the point. And if you said B, you are correct. He needs to get to the point. This is again another idiom and it means get to the point. In other words, hurry up and say what it is you want to say. And that's it for the quiz. Thanks for watching. See you in the next quiz. Bye for now.